Hello and welcome to Poker Quest. This is a new game that just came out on Steam into early access and uh, previously it has been in development for free over the last two years. And uh, generally what you see here is obviously not final and so on and so forth and if you want to make any suggestions then it's probably a good idea to go to the Steam forums or something along those lines. Personally I can liken this very much to a Slay the Spire sort of experience however they use a real deck of cards to determine, uh, to determine various gameplay elements. Let's start a new run. I've, I've just done the tutorial so I obviously know what is going on here and you can see here that you can play as a knight. So what we can do is we can buy upgrades between runs, runs get easier and classic mode no upgrades very hard 100% increased experience and score. Personally, I feel like upgrades mode is going to be more fun to show you right now, so I'm actually going to do that. There's also another uh, another class here that we can unlock once we get to level 2, and that is a rogue. I'm very much looking forward to that. You can see here that at the moment we have two abilities that we can use, and I'll try to explain just how the gameplay works as we go forward. But if you'd like to check out the game anyway, there is a link in the description so let's start this up all right i have no <laughs> i have no points as you can see quite clearly here so yeah you also have food by the way every single time you move and and do things uh, on the world map i believe you consume food so you need to make sure you have some of that anyway let's start a run and see what happens so obviously if you've played slay the spire and various other roguelike slash roguelite games then you'll know this kind of setup where you have a variety of branching paths and so on and so forth. So let's see. Uh, okay, so the currency in the game is, well, as you might expect in a game called Poker Quest, it is called chips. Yes, you also have food, you have gems, and you also have energy. So as you see here, in combat you can spend four energy to stun the enemy, discarding all of their cards. You regain two energy each move you make on the world map, and you also have gems. You may spend one gem to draw two cards during your turn in combat so there's obviously that and then obviously you have upgrades as well where you can buy the number of cards drawn you can upgrade that you can upgrade your item slots and your gem drawer and so on and so forth so i have no idea what i should go for this is an elite battle i'm actually going to show you an elite battle first because i think that i might be able to do it i think i might have the ability to do so okay unfortunately this rat has a pair at the moment. Okay, so now, as, as I said before, it is very much dependent on, uh, shall we say, poker hands. It kind of is dependent on poker hands, and um, it, they use the same value system as well. So, for example, from uh, a game like Blackjack, so aces are worth 11, and uh, face cards and 10 are, you know, obviously worth 10, and then everything else is obviously what they have available to them. But what we're going to do right here is because this guy's going to hit us for 22, I don't want that, thank you very much. So I'm going to just use the Shield of Spades, which is going to give me block, and hopefully that's going to reduce a little bit of the damage I'm going to take, as you can see right there. It reduces my damage by 10, so that's pretty nice. And I don't think, does he, oh he has a, th oh look at that, he has another pair, you absolute imbecile, I hate this guy. Okay, well we're going to spend some energy to stun him, to remove the ability for him to deal damage, and we're going to do some damage in return, unfortunately I can only do 7, because my, my hand was not very good at all. This guy has another pair, oh my, what? Are you serious? I cannot believe that this guy has another pair. Shall I try, uh, shall I just block it? I could block 16. Yeah, I'm going to block 16 right here. There we go. We only lose 6 life as a result of that. He has another pair. This guy. This guy. I'm going to stun him. I'm going to stun him. I, I've got to deal damage sometimes. So let's just stun him and, and try to do that. I did pick the elite battle first. You know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yes. <laughs> anyway, basically, whenever he doesn't get a pair, which he obviously doesn't have right now, He's not going to be able to, do, to attack or do anything. This is his only ability. So you only have to worry about that. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this. I'm going to attack for 24 life because with the Knight Sword ability, I gain plus 50% attack if the cards are paired. So obviously I had two eights there, so I was able to deal increased damage, which I very much like. Okay, this guy, he also doesn't, he doesn't have another pair, so I can just attack him with Reckless Abandon right now. And, and, and again... And there you go. Oh, it, the, the tables have turned, sir. You are now dead. Mm-hmm. Thwarted. 
thwarted. Okay, so now we can buy an upgrade. So what do we want to do? Well, <clears throat> I think the number of cards drawn would probably be a good idea. So let's uh, let's get that upgraded. And now we're going to go through to the treasure chest. I did that completely randomly. Didn't even see the treasure chest, to be honest. Oh, look at this. We gain the following item. Any cards adding to at least five. And then I can poison the opponent. So I actually fought an enemy in the tutorial, which was like a, a big horse. And that enemy was a boss, basically. And he needed to get a, uh, well, basically a total of 40 to be able to attack. And he would do massive damage as a result of that. But it was extremely difficult for him to get to 40 because he'd need a lot of cards that would add up to the exact amount that he would need. And obviously that never really happened apart from one time. But anyway, I'm going to equip this. Thank you very much. I am very pleased with that. And this is a regular battle. Oh, here we go. Look at this. This is the guy. There you go. There's the boss that was in the tutorial. And as you can see, one card is actually hidden as well, by the way. So you have to be a little bit more poker minded in that case. So you're going to you're going to be like, oh, what does this guy have? Does he have at least 40? Does he have at least 40? Well, probably not, because he's already got 24 here, and he's going to he, he needs 40, so that it's impossible for him to do anything like that. So what we can do is we can do this. I'm going to poison him with a Toxic Dirk, and then what we can do is we can attack with the Knight Sword, because I don't need to block at all. There's no way that he's going to be able to attack me, so I'm very, very pleased about this. And now this is... Uh, ooh, okay, so he's got 17, he's got, uh, 20, 26, yeah, 26, so there's also no way that he can actually get there, so we are go just going to use the Queen to use the Toxic Dirk, and then we'll use the Ace and the Three to use the Knight Sword, and we're slowly chipping away at him, but obviously we're continuing to apply Poison, which is exactly what we want to do. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish him off now, and that's it. That is all she wrote. Easy enough, right? It's easy to un understand. I hope you understand by now exactly what's going on and how it works and everything. And hopefully we'll be able to go through here and see how far we can get. Determines how many cards you draw when using a gem and determines how far you can see on the world map. I think I'd, I'd like an upgrade on that, actually. That might be quite fun. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, another elite battle. Pile of four chips, another battle there. What's that? A blacksmith. What does the blacksmith do? I have no idea. You see, I've not, I've not gone through one of these regular runs just yet. I'm going to go through to the elite battle, I think. Oh, what is this? It's a bloop. Oh, dear. One card ranked 10 or higher, and it is... What, what does reusable mean? Items with reusable can be used any number of times in the same turn. Oh, dear. We're going to die from this. What do you bet? All right, he can actually attack me right now. This is problematic. Let's use Toxic Dirk right here. And let's try to block a bunch. There we go. Okay, he can only attack me once, so he only he only deals four damage, which is really not that big a deal. Let's uh, poison him again. And let's, uh, let's attack. I have no idea what his hidden card is going to be, but I don't have a block available anyway, so we're just going to... Yeah, there we go. He actually did deal some damage to me right there, but that is to be expected, of course. And we're just going to poison him once more, and he's dead next turn. I hope. So let's just block, just in case. There we go, never mind. He didn't get to attack. Ooh, that could have gone really badly. If, if, I, if I'd gotten unlucky and he'd gotten super lucky, then that would have been good night to me but no thankfully i was able to do something there determines how many items you can bring into battle let's upgrade our item slots and then we'll continue on to the next okay what does this do no card cost wait a minute items with unlock well number value cannot be activated until you insert cards whose sum of ranks reach that number value Afterwards, for the rest of combat, the items can be activated. Cards may be inserted across multiple turns. Right, so it has no card cost at the moment. Uh, okay, so we need to kill him really fast. That's basically how that works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Why not? Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, so he... Oh, he's already started pretty badly. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, let's poison him. Let's go for a double pair attack with that. Look at that, 33 damage. Absolutely insane. 
and we're once again just going to finish him off with that boom there you go done that's the kind of thing that can actually happen if the cards are in your favor which is obviously as every poker player or someone that has just very casually dabbled in casino games knows it's the luck of the draw you know it's the luck of the draw all right so uh i don't think there are any upgrades for me to get so i'm just going to continue onward what's this okay i'm going to go into the blacksmith i guess pay some blah 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 chips yes to upgrade an item of your choice you may upgrade multiple times but the cost goes up each time well unfortunately i don't have any chips right now so there really is no point in me doing that so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the thug what is this oh that is very clever okay yeah so he has to get blackjack uh means two cards where one card is any 10 or a face card and the other card is an ace so he has to get blackjack to be able to attack that is actually kind of insane and also the fact that he has two hidden cards as well this is going to be very interesting i'm going to do this just for interest's sake and because i think it's really quite amusing so let's have a look Let's summon some cards here. Okay, he has a king, so it's highly likely that he might have an ace. Let's see. I'm just going to use this. Um, let's see uh, what else I can do here. Let's do this. Let's attack. And let's block as well. Just in case. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Whew. Okay, that was lucky. That was very, very lucky. Let's poison him once again. Let's attack once again because we don't have any other option. And... Uh, this is a bit problematic, isn't it? I kind of would want to do more damage, but I'm gonna to I'm gonna poison him once more, and then we're just going to. I, 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 does it matter whether I block right now? Block five? That really doesn't do much, does it? Okay, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Whew. Okay, yeah, it's very tense actually. It's surprisingly tense because when you have a, a sort of win condition like this guy, where he has to get blackjack. Obviously, I have no idea on you know, what kind of odds he is going to have, especially considering he's drawing so many cards at once. It's not like a, an actual casino where you have to make it up with, well, not much. You know, you basically just have your hand and that's pretty much it. And then obviously the, the dealer doing, doing their thing. But anyway, let's see what else we can do here. Gem draw? Uh, I don't think that really matters. What is it? Yeah, yeah, that doesn't really do much. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Oh, elite battle. I've literally just walked into the elite battle. Or I can go to the the campsite here and avoid the elite battle. Restore 15% of your maximum life. Refill a consumable and hunt for food if you need to. If you have campsite abilities, you may use those as well. That might be an idea. Let's go there. Okay, restore 17 HP. Use energy to gain two food. Refill a consumable. I don't have any consumables, I don't think. Let's uh, let's hunt, gain some food, and let's restore our HP, and then let's leave the area. Sounds good to me. Let's go, th 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 let's go through to this battle <laughs> with the goblin. Oh, oh, he needs to get a four card straight or a three card straight to be able to attack. Okay, that's mm, that might be pretty difficult for him, I think. Oh, maybe not. He already has a uh, four card straight, I. No, no, he's missing a queen. Never mind. Never mind. Thankfully, he's missing a queen and he's missing something else as well. A 10 or something like that. But yeah. Okay, so let's use a gem here. And what can I do? What can I do? Uh, I would like to poison him. Then we'll attack like this. Then we'll block just in case. He has nothing. Okay, fantastic. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, he attacked me for 41. He actually did get a four card straight. What a crazy guy. That is an absolutely crazy guy right there. Okay. Well, thankfully, I think we're doing okay. And I think we should be fine. I don't think he's going to get another one before we are able to eliminate him. And there it is. Okay. Thankfully, I did heal there, right? Thankfully, I healed because uh, otherwise we would have had some pretty big issues. I'm going to probably not buy any upgrades right now. Let's go through to the campsite because what is this? Is that the boss? I'm not entirely sure. Let's spend some energy to get some more food. Let's restore ourselves a little bit and then let's leave the area. What is this? Castle Hearts. Okay. Oh, hello there. Oh, I see. It's like a town that we can stop at and that we could shop at and go to the castle dungeon and the wizard's tower and so on. I'm gonna go to the blacksmith. Upgrade one of your items. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade the toxic Dirk. What does that do though? Let's have a look. Yes. I love these I love these items. 
I love these items. Any single time I can upgrade a poison-ish item or a bleed kind of item in a roguelike, I am all over that. It really is super, super fun. All right, let's enter the shop and see what happens. We have seven items available. Oh, what is this? A deluxe sword of poison. Wow. Is the sum of card values placed into the items when activating it? I need a straight flush. A two card straight flush, actually. Never mind. So it is just a two card straight flush, which means that you need the same suit and it needs to be, for example, as you can see right there, a two, three or a, I don't know, six, seven of hearts or of spades or whatever. So that is actually kind of crazy. What about a knife? One card and it inflicts whatever that is. Hmm. What about the shadow blade? Up to three cards. It does damage to me by the looks of things. Yes, items with cursed, you know, affix or whatever. Cause the owner to take uh, something damage at the end of their turn if they fail to activate it. Activating the items completely removes curse from it and causes no damage. Applying curse additional times will replace previous curse values and will immediately deal damage equal. Hmm, it has a cooldown of two. Huh. Hmm, I don't really, I don't really like the sound of that, to be honest. Okay, let's not do that. Anything else here? Wand of Clarity, what does that do? It just reveals things ahead of us, cure or negative effects. Okay, I really don't need any of that. What about the dungeon? You see two enemies in the dungeon. They both look very powerful. Fight both of them and you'll receive, <laughs> oh my, 12 chips, two food and four gems. That, I think that's probably not worth it. What about the Wizard's Tower? Pay the wizard to gain some energy. Pay the wizard. Yeah, I'm going to pay the wizard to increase my energy limit. That sounds pretty good. And the castle in. Pay this and restore 28 of HH. Oh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. That is very good. All right. Pretty happy to move on. Okay, there's an elite battle down here. And then we... Oh, the Temple of Kings. Okay, let's go to the elite battle. What's this? It's a harpy. Okay, so it, it draws one card when hit as well. It has 142 HP. This might be a bit too much. And it needs a four card flush. So in other words, a uh, four cards of the same suit. Doesn't matter whether they are next to each other in value or not. And it does inflict poison as well. I'm going to bet that they're not going to get this that often. So let's go in and see what happens. Yeah, as you can see right here. Okay, they have uh, two hearts, two, two diamonds and two spades. There's no way they can make a four card flush now. So we're pretty good. Anyway, we have a double here. So I'm going to do this. And we're going to do this. And there we go. Wonderful poison right there. Okay, so they have three spades. It's still maybe likely that they might get something there, but it is only going to attack us for 14, and it is going to do a little bit more, uh, you know, otherwise, but I'm, I'm going to continue just doing this. Actually, wait a minute. Let's do this. It's going to get me 21, and then we'll do... We'll do this a little more toxic and then we're going to place this just in case just in case that's a spade you never know oh yeah wow yeah they actually did do that they actually did get that so that was um pretty interesting okay let's just do this okay another four card flush wow really lucky right there for this guy okay so we'll do that and then we just need to decide whether we want to block or whether we want to attack i think i can probably attack and then we're going to be fine because the poison actually triggers just before they attack. So that's actually quite nice. Anyway, we do have the ability to upgrade ourselves. But do I want to? Not really. So I'm just going to leave things as they are. And we're going to go into the next battle straight away. Okay, so ah, they're all about hearts, as you can see right here. So he can cure all negative effects. And he adds six damage for the rest of combat. That might be a bit problematic. And he has a dirty scalpel where he needs two hearts to activate that. And he draws a huge amount of cards. Okay, I'm going to have to use my gems much more often. Let's just draw a whole bunch while I have the ability to do so. Let's do 27 damage straight away. And then we'll do 7 here. And then we'll do block. Because I'm, I'm kind of worried about this guy, to be honest. Okay, no, he didn't do anything. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's just do this 
this. There we go. 18. We're doing so much damage. We really are doing so much damage with the poison. It's super nice. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. He's getting really unlucky, by the way. He hasn't been able to attack me once because he just hasn't gotten the hearts that he needed. So that was really nice. And we're going to go to the Temple of Kings, I think. There's a tavern there. Tavern might be really, really useful, by the way, because we might be able to rest and regain some HP. So I'm going to go to the Temple of Kings. What is this? Kings have five added to their card value when used in items to calculate damage or effects. Wow, that's actually insane. So let's do it. Yep, there we go. Let's enhance our kings. Great, let's go to the tavern. Uh, let's pay one, restore 11. Pay two, unveil map locations up to five moves further than usual. Pay three to gain one food. And you can also uh, repeat that if you want to. But I'm just going to gain back my HP and that is pretty much all I want. Let's go through to the next battle. What is this? A toxic mechanoid. Oh, no. Okay, so overheat. This is going to be pretty, uh, pretty harsh. Any cards adding to at least 33. Rusty tool applies poison. And fuel has no card cost. And it draws plus one for the rest of combat. Wow. So this is a very slow starting enemy. But once it gets going, it's going to absolutely obliterate us, I assume. You spot something shiny. A shiny gem. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Gained one gem. All right. I guess I'm guess I'm happy with that. Anyway, let's just continue this. Okay, look at this. The, the kings have been enhanced, so we're just going to do as much damage as possible with this thing. So, 25 damage is good enough for me, thanks. And then we'll just do this. And then just in case he actually attacks, which is highly unlikely, but yeah. He, oh, he actually has no cards, basically, so it's highly unlikely he's going to be able to attack that soon. So we're just going to try and burn him down as fast as possible. Think I should be able to without too many difficulties. There's the rusty tool. He's poisoned us a little bit, but that's not going to stop us because we're going to eliminate him in this turn. And there you go. Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay, what do we have here? Battle, treasure. I'm going to go for the treasure because a random item. It's been a while since we've had an item. Oh, look at this. A bag of holding. Up to two cards. Okay, so what does this mean? Can be used to store or return ah between rounds of combat. Storing cards triggers effects on the items. Items with reusable can be used any number of times in the same turn. And they do not take up an item slot. Okay, well, I guess that's kind of useful if you want to save a particular card. So, for example, if I get a king, and I think I'm going to get a king in the next hand, then, well, then I'm going to be able to you know double up on those kings and do massive damage. So, I'm pretty happy with that. There's the boss, by the way. So let's go through to the shop, because I have 11 chips, so I might have the ability to purchase something rather fun. So let's have a look. Uh, I like poison knives, actually. Mm. Yes, I can't buy that, unfortunately. Oh well, never mind. What about this? This is a consumable. Gain 10. Yeah, you know what? Let's buy one of these, because you never know when you're going to need some HP, right? Okay, this is a hill giant. If it's like Skyrim, I'm done for. But otherwise, I think I should be okay because it needs to get any cards adding to at least 50. That is highly unlikely going to be able to do anything to me right now. Okay, so now we've got a lot more items as you can see right here. So that's pretty nice. We've got some energy right here. So basically, I can stun the guy. Might as well do that. If I have the ability to do so, then I might as well. Okay, let's just continue to chip away at this guy. Nice, we've got a king. Look at that. So I'm going to continue attacking just because I can. And he did actually deal damage to me right there. So that is problematic. Wow, he's... Yeah, he's going to be able to deal damage to me again, I think. So I'm going to try and block. Yep, there you go. I actually did block 13 of his damage, which was eh, not the greatest, I guess. Not the greatest. I'm going to... Just continue attacking now. We have 17 poison on him right now. Oh, there we go. That's a, that's a kill. Done. All right. Very nice. Okay, so now we can go into the inn. This is going to restore our life. There we go. And we also gain some food. There we are. So we're now as prepared as we will ever be, I suppose. Uh, do I want to upgrade anything? Well, I can't actually upgrade anything at all. So I guess we will just go into the boss battle. So he needs three black cards and four red cards to be able to do the things that he wants to do. Uh, I don't think that's that difficult for him to accomplish. I think it's difficult for him to attack. 
But for him to block, it's very easy, I think. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Oh dear. He already has... Wow. Okay, I'm gonna stun him. Oh, he had enough to attack. Wow, that's insane. Okay, let's see if I can get some better... Are you serious right now? You're giving me absolute trash right here. Look at this. Look at all these low-value cards. I can't believe it. Okay, well, let's just do this. Let's do this. And I don't really want to block or anything like that because there's no point. I'm thinking I might use this to heal myself, though. And... Hmm... Do I want to do anything else? Ten uh, no, I don't have anything that can activate with trips or anything like that, right? So that is basically pointless. Let's just end the turn. All right. Oh, dear. Mm. I could stun him again. I'm going to stun him again, actually. I'm going to just use everything at my disposal, I think, at this point. Because I think he's really, really strong. And we're just going to focus on attacking. Okay, there's a nice king and a queen. And he's going to be able to attack once again. I'm going to stun him, I think, again. <gasps> Double kings! Nice! A pair of kings is exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much. I'm going to be able to attack for 45 damage. That's insane. Okay, let's uh, let's stun him again. Yep, he had the ability to attack once more. I can't, I can't believe that, really. Okay, let's hold the queen. And then we'll end the turn. There's another king. That's fantastic. Let's return our cards. So we know that we have these two. So I'm going to use these two to attack. He has the opportunity to potentially attack me right now. I'm thinking we might stun him again. Ooh. Okay. That would have been okay for me to just deal with it. Because he wasn't actually going to be able to do anything to us. But I was worried. So I did what I needed to do. Anyway. Yeah, he might still be able to attack us here. But I'm going to just... I'm going to go just, you know, full out. Yeah, he had the ability to block, but that's okay. That's not too bad. Okay, there's a king. That's fantastic. Let's do... Um, yeah, let's do massive damage. Let's uh, do this, and let's keep the queen. And then we'll go to the next turn. Yep, he had nothing. He had nothing. Fantastic. Oh, we could return the card. Uh, yeah, I should have returned the card beforehand. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, I think he's... I think he might have... No, he, he doesn't. Whew. Okay, that was uh, maybe a little bit worrying, but I think we should be fine. Because he's dead! Yes! There we go. So now I can buy some upgrades. Number of cards drawn. I'm going to actually get an upgrade for that. That has completely wiped us out of everything. And now we can enter the campsite. So we can rest. We can gain back 20. We can refill all of our consumables, which we only had two of, obviously. And then we can also use five energy to gain two food. We're actually starting to run out of food a little bit here. But as you can see, the game goes on for a pretty considerable amount of time. And I am now in World 2. So... Anyway, I think that's probably a good idea to end the episode off here. If you'd like to check out Poker Quest, there is a link in the description. It's in early access right now on Steam. And uh, I, think, I think if you're into roguelikes, roguelites, whatever you want to call them, then I think you definitely want to check this out. It is a lot of fun, and I'm certainly going to be uh, playing a little bit more of it in my spare time. What little of that I have. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.